Inside Sports on 6.30, Chet. Oilers autograph session is going on. Connor McDavid on the surface of the Ice Palace right behind me. They've covered up the ice, everybody. Don't have to worry about slipping. Uh, if you are if you're coming here, I'm only here till eight, but I'm giving out canned ham T-shirts for Inside Sports, which are incredible. Matthew Duchak is here again. You're like, this is awesome having you on the show. Of course, you run the uh, was it YouTube, Instagram, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. When you name it, social media, I'm on it. I guess it's Best Edmonton Mall, and you're basically I, I don't even think you're the unofficial historian anymore. I think you are the historian, even though the mall doesn't employ you. That's, I mean, I guess in the hearts of, of many. Luckily for me, I, I am the official historian of, uh, of West Edmonton Mall. All right. I watch your videos periodically because you do good stuff. Like you make little mini documentaries on things about the mall. How often do you put one out? You know, it's slowed down a little bit. I, I, uh, I'm doing a few a year at least. Uh, but, I mean, I was, doing, I was doing them every few months when I first started. But uh, it's almost like... Uh, I had this huge pent-up library of things to talk about, and now I have to be a little more selective. But right, uh, but you get thousands, if not tens of thousands, of views on all oh, the videos. Like, absolutely, easily. yeah. 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 People, I mean, people like it because it's because it's a combination of nostalgia plus current stuff. I mean, here's what there was, here's what's there now, or here's what happened to something. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I started out with uh, mainly nostalgic stuff. You know, remember the dragon, remember the submarines, remember this, right. remember that, and you know, as I as I became this uh, real mall guy. Everyone wants to know my opinions on the new stuff, too, so so now I have to do that. Now, to remind me again, how often are you here? Uh, I come down here per- weekly to every two weeks. Okay, because you actually do not live in the West End. No. I oddly live, enough. Yeah. I live on the south side of the city. It's, uh, <laughs> so, it's, it's quite a trek to come here and back all the time, but uh, for some reason I do it. What still excites you the most about coming to the mall? I like to see the, what's coming, what's new. You know, every time I come here, there's something new. I'm, I'm not a huge shopper, but if I know where all the stores are, and I'll walk by and I'll go, hey, there's a vacancy there, or there was a vacancy there. There's something new there. But, you know, there's 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 always new stuff coming. And, uh, you know, I'm... I'm I'm a little bit hurt, but I'm also excited to see what goes where the where the mind bender was it was well I guess once lived now it's okay so gone. is it you're gonna have to fill me in because I act, I have not been here for I don't even know I might have been here earlier this year but it might have been just an in and out mm-hmm. I can't remember I, I actually don't come here that often yeah so and I know you've been on the show at least well every time I've been now so we were here in 2020 yep. La, uh, last November, correct? Yeah, and now. And now, and in, in 2020, they actually practiced and then stayed for autographs. Oh, was there no practice this time? No. Oh. No. Okay. Well, yeah, because yeah, they had to cover up the ice so people oh. could line up on it. Right. <laughs> I suppose that makes sense. So uh, now I forgot what it was. Uh, well, what, I mean, was the mind bender? And then you, the, when the mind bender was announced, you came on my show over the phone. Have they yeah. disassembled it? Yes, it is There's virtually a- gone. The the last remaining loops are actually half if not more than half down like there is there's maybe one or two pieces of track left in that entire coaster and it is it is empty and you walk in there and it feels very odd because you look around you go there's supposed to be a roller coaster here and now there's nothing and and when you see it and <laughs> you see it in real life it gets too real i tell you was there an official last ride of the mind bender or did it sort of go quietly it went quietly yeah. the uh, the official last ride was in uh, 2021 and then they closed it for maintenance and they didn't really release any other information about it and then for uh, several years, people were asking, what's going on with the Mindbender? And then they just announced that it wouldn't reopen. So it, so nobody knew that the last ride was actually the last ride. There's no, no record of it or anything like that. No, it was not uh, publicized. It just happened. If you happen to be on the... It was open for only two weeks around the, in the summer of 2021. If you happen to get on it then, you were one of the last people to get to ride the Mindbender. Is your video still going, by the way? Yeah, it is. There's a red... Okay. A red dot we can't, I can't... Uh, I'm all upset I couldn't see ourselves. Because I, I, I love that you promote inside sports, too. It's awesome. <laughs> you even got a T-shirt on. I do, yes. And yeah. uh, I always put the our, our conversations up on my YouTube channel at Best Edmonton Malls. So. Yes, and people are like, who is this weirdo that is having Matthew <laughs> on his sports show? <laughs> all right. So, what... Now, does the mall ever leak information to you or tell you, hey, Matthew... 
you might want to show up next week. We know you got a YouTube <laughs> channel. We were hoping you can help get us something out there. Uh, they have. Yeah, the mall's been really good to me. When I started doing this, I was just doing it because I'm a nostalgic Edmontonian, and uh, they found out who I was, and they sent me a message, and the only words, it was ominous. They said, now we know who you are. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my gosh, they're going to they're gonna tell me a cease and desist. But, no, they've been great. They don't have to be, but they, they give me insights. They tell me when things are opening, and they you know, let me cover it for my channel. So, yeah, it's been really good. So, but you don't know what's going in place of the mind bender. I mean, that's a big space to put multiple things, perhaps. It's a massive space, and uh, I don't even know if the mall knows what they're doing for sure yet, but uh, I, I'm certainly hoping for more rides. There was a there was a brief rumor that they were exploring putting retail in there, uh, some like integrating some retail into Galaxy Land, but I don't know if that's actually going to happen or if that was just a rumor. Oh. I'm, I'm hoping it's just more rides. I'm sure everyone everyone listening who loves uh, amusement parks as much as I do, they they want uh, they want rides. Though there still is a roller coaster in Galaxy Land, isn't there? Like, isn't there one that almost goes over top of where people walk? Yeah, the Galaxy Orbiter. So that uh, it was actually North America's first spinning coaster. Um, so, yeah, that, that's oh. the Galaxy. Well, I'm not sure what the new name is going to be. Everything's being rethemed to Hasbro now. But, uh, yeah, the Galaxy Orbiter is still there. It's a, it's a heck wait, of a wait, fun Wait, wait, what do you mean Hasbro? Oh, wow, you're really out of the loop. Oh, I'm totally out of the loop. Yeah, yeah. so Galaxyland uh, last year, they uh, they announced that uh, they were re-transforming the park to be Galaxyland powered by Hasbro. So all the rides in there are being rethemed. So they got a title sponsor. Basically. Yeah. Had they ever had one before? No, never. Because they because it was Disney that made them stop with Fantasyland. Correct. Yeah. And then it was Gal- I guess it's kind and of. Then it was Galaxy. Now that you mention it, it is probably surprising they didn't have something else before. Well, exactly. I mean, Mall of America, which is owned by the same the same you know the Grimesians, the Triple Five Company uh, Corporation, uh, they're you know they're Nickelodeon. And when they first opened, they were Camp Snoopy. They always had a tie into some sort of brand or something. Oh, uh, okay. The but, whole uh, mall or just their, oh, their just amusement, their amusement park. They had a music park as yeah, well. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Have you ever met or interviewed a Grimesian? Never. Would you like to? Absolutely. Yeah, have you asked? No. I. I you got to ask. I, I suppose I do. I'm, I I have this problem with a, with asking. I just like I like to do my thing, and if something lands on my lap, I'm super excited, oh, okay. but uh, I never reach out, and maybe I should. Well, see, that's part of my profession, I guess, is just asking people I suppose, to do interviews, yeah. and you get told no a lot, but you, know, well, you said yes, and you keep hey, saying yes. Well, for you, anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, such a big deal. All right, so... Uh, Matthew Duchak is here from Best Edmonton Mall. We are at West Edmonton Mall for the autograph session. What do you think of the uh, autograph sessions being here? I love it. So if you uh, remember back in uh, well the 80s, 90s, the Ice Palace, they had banners hanging. Uh, they were the official home, second home of the Edmonton Oilers. And they had regular practices here. And they even, when they did autograph sessions back then regularly, and the mall released these limited edition mall branded trading pamphlets. And they had Wayne Gretzky. My dad had a few of them, Wayne Gretzky and Mark Messier. And it, it was a really tight collaboration back in the day. And then it, it stopped. And then there was nothing for like, I don't know, a decade, yeah. maybe more. And now we're seeing it here. And, and you, know, you see the crowds, you see the energy. I think it's just awesome. Okay, we're fine. Some security guys were just eyeing us up, but now uh, they're gone, so we're okay. Our, our uh, pirate radio here. Yeah, we just no, we don't have permission <laughs> at all. Actually, we just set up wherever we want and start broadcasting. Put up the 6:30 Chet banner and off we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's the? the are, is there, are there any movie theaters left here? The one up the stairs is still there. That's right. Yeah. Well, Scotiabank Theater used to be uh, Silver City, and of course, right. People who uh, you know now it seems like any other Cineplex cinema, but uh, back in the day, man, that thing was a spectacle. It opened yeah. in 1999, and if you were going to see a movie, you had to see it there. That was the best place to go. They had the Fire Breathing Dragon, Excalibur. They had Taco Bell. They had Starbucks. And this is unheard of back then in a movie theater. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it was just it was a massive. And for, for a limited time, Edmonton's unofficial motto was, have you seen the dragon yet? Right. Everyone wanted okay, so it. So the Fire Breathing Dragon, gone. Yeah. Yes. Surfing Yoda, or the Surfing Batman? Still there. The Giant Yoda. Still there. Uh, what else was there? King Kong. Is he still there? He's gone. Why would King. they take out? He was just, he's just an innocent, he's just an innocent giant bystander. ape. And they had a little bi, uh, little mini flying uh, biplane that was flying around him. He was swinging at it. I thought it was really cool, but for some reason they got rid of him and they moved Yoda to where he was. Uh, and if you go down one of the, the big long aisles leading out to the theaters, there's actually two baby dragons that have to stick their head up from behind one of the old, uh, the old uh, concession stands. So there was a story about... Uh, 
the dragon at West Edmonton Mall, and it was mad and breathing fire because some th those flying yeah. uh, guys stole her babies. So and now the babies are still living there. They're still living there, but the dra the mom is gone. That, and that's a pretty good story, actually. Yeah. Somewhat tragic for the orphans, I suppose. It really is because they they cut up that dragon and it ended up in the dumpster. So sorry. Oh, it's not preserved somewhere. Nope. They wanted to preserve it, but uh, a rumor has it someone stole the head, one of the contractors, and then they were told to destroy it. Or they oh, wait a minute. So the dragon head might be in somebody's garage or basement or storage it's container. It's completely possible. The, the the story goes someone took it, they were told to destroy it, they said they destroyed it, so it might be somewhere under a tarp somewhere. Okay, so the, the destruction of the head has not been proven. It hasn't been. If no. I... Th if I thought I could get away with that, I might try to get away with it. I, no, I'm no. not saying I did. Not saying you did or you would, but maybe you would. Maybe I would. <laughs> if I could have the head for the fire-breathing dragon. Maybe just, I would. Hey, where'd you get that? <laughs> oh, no, no. Just, was, found it, just found it at the mall. It was just, <laughs> they were selling it. There was only one of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right place, right time. Uh, okay. So what... I think I've asked you the first part before, but I'll ask you again. Sure. What attraction do you miss the most, and what attraction is now here that you don't think enough people know about or take advantage of? Okay, the attraction I miss the most, uh, it depends on what mood I'm in. It's either going to be the submarines that used to swim or fly around, or fly, swim around the uh, Deep Sea Adventure Lake, or the Lazy River Slide at the World Water Park. It was called the Raging Rapids, and you would hit, ca carry a tube up there, and there were multiple paths to the bottom. And as a kid, it felt like it was... The possibilities were endless, but but uh, they had they took that one out as well. So those those are the two that I missed the most. Okay. Uh, I think that you know, it's it's hard to say that people don't know it exists, but I don't think Drive the the, the multi multi floor go kart track. I yeah. don't think it gets enough credit. I really. I walked don't. by that and I was like, that looks interesting. It looks really cool, and and the, I think I think maybe what they didn't do right, or I don't know if they maybe their hands were tied, but seeing the attraction, you just see one tiny little bit of the curve and you hear a screech and the car goes and you can't see just how big that track is and how fun the whole experience is. You just get a tiny little sliver window looking into it. So I think I think people don't don't really realize how, how awesome it really is. Because I walked by there today before the show and I saw this drive and then I thought, where's the rest of it? And then I said, then I walked closer. Okay, it's underneath, but it's got to be a huge space under there. Yeah. What was there? Or, okay, so originally that was the mall's original movie theater location. The six, it, the six screen one. Yeah, the, when it first opened, okay. the first phase first opened way back in the in the, in the day, uh, and then that uh, became their second run theater here at the mall, and they were dollar movies there. I went there all the time. It's well, a great deal. Yeah, all the time, and then. Uh, that closed down, and it actually became West 49, and they had a skate park down in there, oh. skateboard park. And then when that closed, they, they brought in Drive, which was, again, pretty big. Addition. And you've done it, I assume. Oh, yeah. I love it. It's it's a, it's a heck of a lot of fun. It's, it's so easy to drift on those things, and... And they, they're loud as heck, and they screech. But uh, yeah, it's, if you can get if you can get down there when it's not busy, and you and you and a couple of friends have the whole track to yourself, forget it. You're gonna have the time of your life. It's awesome. Okay, Matthew, this was great. But we're gonna give away the to, for the four Elks tickets to the game on Saturday. And remember, if you're going to that game, bring something for 63 says Stands Anonymous. You'll have to answer this trivia question live on air. In what year did the mall open? Somebody's going to know this. Oh, this will be... Or they'll take an educated guess. I think it'll be pretty easy for people to get yeah. this. But, uh, yeah, that's a good question. In what year did the mall open? Remind everybody where to find all your stuff. Uh, well, my main channel is youtube.com slash Mall. But if you look up Best Edmonton Mall on any of your socials or bestedmontonmall.com, you can find all my stuff. Matthew, you're the best. <laughs> Hopefully see you sooner, but definitely see you next season when they do this. Oh, absolutely. I'll come back anytime. Matthew Duchak from Best Edmonton Mall. Inside Sports is at West Edmonton Mall. We'll get to your uh, trivia answers next.